So you're thinking of buying a home and you're getting ready to go house hunting. Well, what are some of the can do's and cannot do's when you're viewing a home? Now, ultimately, it is the agent's responsibility. They are bringing the potential buyers into the home and they're responsible for what goes on while they're in the home. Part of that responsibility is that we communicate to you expectations and boundaries for behavior. And that's just really good um, communication skills for any situation. Can you go on the property or enter the property before the agent has arrived or before your appointment time? No, you cannot. Your agent is the one who has set the appointment. They're responsible for everybody when they're on the property. So if you are there and your agent isn't, you're pretty much trespassing. So wait for your agent. Can we walk all over the property and through every room in the house? Yes, unless the seller has uh, specifically said for some reason, maybe a safety concern that you can't go to a certain area. And that's very rare. Yes, walk through every room, every space, walk all over the property, take a good look at the interior, the exterior of the house. You're not just there to see the nice stuff about the house. We're there to figure out everything we can while looking at the house. Can you open cupboards and closets? Yes, you can insofar as perhaps you want to see like, do we have soft closure cupboards in the kitchen or do we have built-ins in the closet? Can you touch any of the objects in the cupboards or closets? No, you cannot. And that extends to pretty much every possession, piece of furniture, everything in the house that isn't the actual structure of the house itself. These are not items that are for sale. We are not here to see them. We don't sit on them. We don't touch them. We don't turn them on and off. Because at all times, we're appreciating the fact that the seller is letting strangers into their home unaccompanied. I mean, yes, you have a realtor, but the realtor is a stranger to them too, right? So they are trusting us when we go in their home to respect their possessions. Can we open the electrical panel and see if it's breakers or fuses or 100 or 200 amps? Yes, we can. Can we flick on and off any of those breakers? Absolutely not. Can we go to the bathroom or get a drink of water? No, that's what Tim Hortons is for. Can we pull up a corner of the rug or the flooring to see what's underneath? Absolutely not. Again, this is a viewing. So we're doing the bulk of what we're doing there that day with our eyes. And as Mrs. Swackhammer in the first grade would remind you, you see with your eyes and not with your hands. So those are some basic expectations for how we act when we're in someone else's home. And if you were selling your home, I'm sure you would want people to treat it with the same sort of respect.